Welcome to all the viewers. This is Dr. Bookworm back with a new video and in this video we are going to cover our most awaited topic. Since I am in Australia, most of the people have been inquiring how they can come to Australia, which visa categories they can target to come to Australia. So in this video we are going to discuss in detail all the possible pathways through which you can enter Australia whether you want to pursue your educational career in Australia or you are already a jobian and looking forward to switch your professional career and start a new career in Australia or you are a business person and looking forward for the investment opportunities in Australia and you don't know which visa categories you are going to target then this video is definitely for you before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can receive regular updates regarding scholarships fellowships internships and exchange programs abroad so let us begin with today's video so i will be categorizing this video into three sections the first section is for students those who want to pursue their education ahead in australia the second section would be for the jobians who are already employed in their relevant field and they want to look forward to the job opportunities in Australia and the third category is the business personals who are looking forward to shift their business to Australia or either looking for the investment opportunities in Australia through a particular visa category. So the first pathway through which you can enter Australia is the educational pathway so the visa category that is targeted for this pathway is subclass 500 that is the student visa through this visa category you can enter australia and you will get an australian degree that will pave your way to get permanent residency in australia as well so um, for this pathway you can either apply for a fully funded scholarship a partially funded scholarship or on a self-financed program so if you have a very good profile, competitive academic record, but you have uh, relevant publications, experience, internships, and a strong overall profile, including IELTS, a good score of IELTS, then you can target to apply for a fully funded scholarship like Australian Award Scholarship Research Training Program. But note that most of the scholarships are offered for master's and PhD programs. If you are targeting bachelor's, then you need to either go for the partially funded programs or for the self-finance programs so anyone who has acquired a metric matriculation degree a school level degree till the uh, person who has the phd degree can apply for this subclass 500 visa either on the scholarship or on the self-finance program so if you are applying for a self-finance program then what are the requirements what do you need to have in order to apply in australia for a study program so first of all you need to have your relevant degrees the previous degrees duly attested from the relevant department in your country like for pakistan you need to attest them from hec and mofa and for the metric and fsc degrees you need to attest them from the relevant board as well as through ibcc so then you need a good ielts score ielts is compulsory to apply for a study program in australia a minimum of six overall score in ielts is acceptable for most of the degree programs and uh, it can be higher than that as well and the least score that is acceptable in australia is 5.5 with the condition that you need to take an additional course before start of the degree for english language that is called le course so you can simply search on google by typing le courses so you will get to know more about these courses so these are actually the compensation courses for English language if you have a lower score in IELTS. Then another requirement for the self-finance program is that you need to show up a bank statement that proves that you uh, have the affordability for the degree program you are planning to pursue in Australia including your tuition fee, your accommodation and your day-to-day -day expenses. So you can use the bank statement uh, in the bank statement, you can show up your properties, uh, your jewelry, your uh, saving certificates in the banks or the amount in the saving uh, bank account. You can also show up the money of your relatives, your father, your brother, your blood relatives, including all your paternal relatives. So all the father people from the father side, you can use their bank statement as a proof of affordability then uh, 
the overall investment for this visa category would be i would say that between uh, 3.5 to 4 million in pakistani rupees if you are targeting a self finance program so initially you would need 3.5 to 4 million rupees in order to apply for a self finance program so this course will cover your first year uh, of study in australia then the second possible way to enter australia is through your skill uh, as a professional for a job purpose so if you are a jobian already employed in your relevant sector and have a two to four years of relevant experience like uh, you have you hold a professional degree like engineering software engineering doctor or paramedical staff or if you have any skill like uh, you are a chef you are a hairdresser uh, you are a bartender or anything like that so you can get your degrees assessed and apply through the skill occupation uh, pathway in australia so the visa categories for this pathway would be uh, subclass 189 190 and 491 you can search on google for these categories for further details what are the requirements about these categories uh, so basically in this category uh, you are given your profile is evaluated in terms of experience in terms of relevance of the degree program and the requirement of that particular field within australia so um, if you have a degree previous degree from australia then you get additional five to ten points uh, for that reason but if you have degree from any other country you can still get your degree assessed and you can still apply for these visa categories so what you need to do uh, to apply for this visa category you will simply search on google the skill occupation list in australia and then you will find out the assessment body for your particular degree program like if you have a degree in accounting you will find out the assessment body in australia that assess the accounting degree and you will get your degrees assessed from that particular organization so for that you would need your experience letter if you are doing a job uh, then your pay slips and uh, if you are paying taxes on your income then your income tax record will be required uh, to assess your degrees uh, once you get your skills assessed and uh, verified through the relevant assessment body then you can submit your expression of interest uh, on skill select skill select is a website of australian government uh, where you can submit your expression of interest that you are eagerly willing to come to australia to pursue your professional career and as this uh, profession is needed in australia then you want to be considered for this particular profession so every year the government invites send invites to people uh, to the relevant people which are needed in australia uh, so most of the times Australians need people with the skills so if you have any skill uh, the labor skill or any technical skill you can always apply and uh, you have a good chance of getting an invitation from the Australian government that you can come to Australia and do a job so minimum of 65 points are valid for some of the categories uh, and most of these categories belong to the skilled labor so you can always consider this visa category to apply another requirement for this visa category uh, is IELTS or PTE score so for this particular category you need a higher score of IELTS so that you can prove or you can get more points in your overall uh, profile uh, so that you can increase the chances of your selection or getting invite from the Australian government so uh, somewhere around eight bands would be ideal to apply or proceed in this visa category so the cost if we talk about the cost for these uh, visa categories then uh, the application fee would be somewhere between five thousand to six thousand Australian dollars uh, plus if you add the medical uh, expenses then it becomes 10 to 12 lakhs in Pakistani rupees so you can simply um, while sitting in Pakistan or any other country you can apply for this visa category and uh, you can try your luck yeah so another pathway for the professionals is uh, by getting the Australian work permit that is known uh, here as employer sponsored visa 
so this is the subclass 482 uh, that is fully covered by the uh, organization that is inviting you for that particular job position so it has uh, two categories one is the short term uh, 482 visa and the other is long term uh, visa for the short term visa you get a two years work permit to work in australia that is extendable for another two years after you uh, complete your first two years and the second one is long term that is a four years visa work permit that you can uh, do a job in australia and uh, if you have the long term one then you are directly become eligible for the permanent residency but if you have the short term one then you need to get another two years after evaluation uh, to apply for the PR so for this visa categories you need to have a minimum of two years of work experience so this visa categories is mostly dealt uh, through the internal transfer in the multinational companies so if you are working in a multinational company like Huawei like Samsung like Intel or any other company so you can request your own company um, that you can uh, you want to shift to Australia and you can consider an available job position within that company uh, in the Australian branch so they are actively looking for people that are capable uh, because uh, it is difficult to find uh, relevant skilled people in Australia because of less population so there is always an opportunity for you if you are working in a good multinational organization you can always look for the opportunity to move to Australia uh, so this visa category is fully paid and financed by the company that is inviting you and uh, while uh, getting a job within your company you can also request them to give you uh, the subclass 186 that is a direct PR but it comes with the two years of bond with the organization that is inviting you to Australia so another commonly asked question is whether Australia provides a visitor or tourist visa or not yes Australia does provide the tourist visa that is subclass 600 uh, so for this visa category but uh, Australia is a bit strict about this visa category so uh, they only give this visa to a person who has a very strong travel history and while I'm talking about the strong travel history it does not mean that you have visited UAE for three to four times for the job purpose or like uh, the Asian countries or something they are looking forward for your active travel towards USA Canada UK and this region and uh, this should be a frequent travel that uh, proves that you have something uh, there you have some assets in uh, the foreign countries or you are a business personnel that frequently travel to these countries then Australia would offer you a tourist visa uh, the application fee is pretty nominal that is 250 to 300 Australian dollars so you can always try your hand on this visa category and once you are on the tourist visa in Australia whether through a sponsor or through this uh, pathway then you can apply as uh, while onshore you can apply for uh, the student visa as well so once you are in Australia as a tourist you can apply for the student visa as well so to extend your stay in Australia the final option through which you can enter Australia is through the business pathway so this is for the business community particularly who are looking forward to uh, invest in Australia or shift their business in Australia uh, then you can always um, come to Australia as well so this is subclass 188 which has five different categories of visas that can be offered to you as a business personnel so the first visa category is entrepreneurship uh, so if you are an entrepreneur and you have a very uh, attractive idea for particularly for the Australian uh, region that would benefit the Australian people that then you can always come up with that idea but that idea would be strong enough and logical uh, for the Australian region local region so you can apply for the entrepreneur visa uh, it is very competitive and the chances of getting this visa are very rare the second category is business and innovation visa so this is actually for the people who already have businesses in different countries and they want to shift their business or expand their business in Australia 
so they can always shift their business through with this visa category so you need to show up uh, in your application that you have a very strong skill set and you have a very strong business already existing in another country and you are interested to shift your business or expand your business in Australia then they would be happy to give you a visa to come to Australia and expand your business the third category is the investment visa uh, so the minimum investment you need to apply for this visa category would be 1.5 million dollars Australian dollars so if you have 1.5 million Australian dollars in hand you can always apply for this visa category and come up with an idea that you are going to invest in this sector while you are in Australia. So Australia would happily invite you to come and invest in their country. The fourth category is significant investor visa. The minimum investment for this visa category is 5 million Australian dollars. So if you hold this much amount, you can always apply for this visa category and come to Australia to develop a business here then the fifth category is the most valuable category and uh, they would be happy to give you this visa and uh, the name uh, shows as well that is premium investor visa so the minimum investment for this visa category is 15 million Australian dollars so if you have this much of amount you can go for this visa as well so all the visas in this business category are not permanent residency these are the temporary visas but they can lead you to get a permanent residency in future so after two years or one years you need to evaluate your business show up to australian government and immigration department that you are making this much of money you have employed this much of people uh, including this percentage of australian people are employed in your company uh, so if everything goes smoothly, you are going to get your permanent residency through this pathway as well. So this was all about all the possible options through which you can enter Australia. I have discussed these options very briefly. Uh, so I have told you all the visa categories. You can go to Google and search more about them. Uh, you will get all the information on the uh, immigration Australia website the official website where you can get all the details about each of the visa categories to understand it further so this was all about today's video I hope you like the video do share this video with your uh, relatives your friends who are planning to pursue their um, career in Australia so with that this is Dr. Bookworm signing off thank you